OR Tombo International Airport IATA, JNB, ICAO, FAOR, formerly FAJS ORTIA, is a major international airport in Kempton Park, Ekerhaleni, Gauteng, South Africa, near the city of Johannesburg and, to a lesser extent, the executive capital Pretoria. It serves as the primary airport for domestic and international travel to, from South Africa and is Africa's busiest airport with a capacity to handle up to 28 million passengers annually with non-stop flights to all continents except Antarctica. The airport is the hub of South Africa's largest international and domestic carrier, South African Airways and a number of smaller local airlines. The airport handled a total of over 21 million passengers in 2017. It was originally known as Jan Smuts International Airport, after the former South African Prime Minister of the same name. The airport was renamed Johannesburg International Airport in 1994 when the newly elected African National Congress government implemented a policy of not naming airports after politicians. The policy was reversed later, and the airport was renamed again on 27 October 2006 after Oliver Reginald Tombo, a former president of the African National Congress. History The airport was founded in 1952 as Jan Smuts Airport, two years after his death, near the town of Kempton Park on the East Rand. It replaced the Palmetfontein International Airport, which had handled European flights since 1945. In 1943, a decision was by the Cabinet of the Union of South Africa to construct three international airports with a civil airports advisory committee formed to investigate and report on the viability. That report was submitted to the Cabinet in March 1944 with one main international airport on the Witwatersrand and two smaller international airports at Cape Town and Durban. The South African Railways and Harbours Administration was given the role of managing the project and later in 1944, a member sent to the USA to study standards and methods of construction. Four possible sites around Johannesburg were identified, with one south of Johannesburg chosen but soon discarded due to being situated on land with gold-bearing reefs below. Sites were then narrowed down to Kempton Park and the existing airport at Palmetfontein. Layouts and rough costing for the two sites were established and submitted for a ministerial decision. The site would be at Kempton Park and be named Jan Smuts Airport. The area outside Kempton Park was an expropriated undulating dairy farm of 3,706 acres with a 598 acre eucalyptus plantation. Sitting on a plateau, the area sloped away towards the east. The area was drained by the Blabook River. In the late 50s, jet passenger aircraft became the norm, and there was a need to expand the existing ground facilities at the airport, and this began in the 60s and early 70s. In addition to the new airside facilities, ground developments included improved road access, parking areas, hotel, retail areas, and car hire. The late 60s saw a new choice of aircraft for South African Airways, the Boeing 747. A decision was made by the Minister of Transport of three, later five 747s for the airline. Delivery would begin in October 1971 with the first flight to London on 10 December 1971 with daily services from February 1972. These purchases however required new hangar facilities with the contract awarded in September 1969 initially worth R2,983,408. Construction started in December 1968 and was completed in October 1971 for R8 million while other work at the airport associated with the arrival of these new aircraft brought the costs to R40 million. Other new buildings such as workshops, testing facilities, stores, staff accommodation and air cargo handling building were built. The new hangar would allow for two 747s with each bay with dimensions of 73.2 meters wide, 24.4 meters high and a depth of 91.4 meters. It was used as a test airport for the Concorde during the 1970s, to determine how the aircraft would perform while taking off and landing at high elevations hot and high testing. During the 1980s, many countries stopped trading with South Africa because of the United Nations sanctions imposed against South Africa in the struggle against apartheid, and many international airlines had to stop flying to the airport. 
These sanctions also resulted in South African Airways being refused rights to fly over most African countries, and in addition to this, the risk of flying over some African countries was emphasized by the shooting down of two passenger aircraft over Rhodesia e.g. Air Rhodesia Flight 825 and 827, forcing them to fly around the bulge of Africa. This required specially modified aircraft like the long-range Boeing 747 SP. A second runway was built at the airport in the late 1980s. In December 1993, a R120 million upgrade at the airport was completed. The main part of the projects was a 880 meters, 3000 T steel airside corridor consisting of two levels high of 6 meters wide with 13 passenger bridges. The upper levels are connected the departure lounges through security screening points. Lower levels are for arrivals for entry into the immigration and custom areas. A future provision for extensions to this airside corridor was included in the design. A new airside bus terminal was also added for busing in passengers to aircraft not able dock next to the terminal. Other parts of the project included upgrading the terminal facilities for the passengers, following the ending of apartheid, the airport's name, and that of other international airports in South Africa, were changed and these restrictions were lifted. With the creation of the Airports Company of South Africa ACSA in the mid-90s, a plan to commercialize the airport begun with new passenger and retail and airside facilities to handle a larger amount of planes completing this phase in 2004, the airport overtook Cairo International Airport in 1996 as the busiest airport in Africa and as the fourth busiest airport in the Africa Middle East region after Dubai International Airport, Hamid International Airport, and Abu Dhabi International Airport. In fiscal year 2010, the airport handled 8.82 million departing passengers. In late 2005, a name change was proposed for the airport to O. R. Tombo International. After former ANC president and anti apartheid activist Oliver Reginald Tombo, an apparent change to the precedent of neutrally named airports. The name change was formally announced in the Government Gazette of South Africa on 30 June 2006, allowing a 30-day window for the public to register objections. The name change was implemented on 27 October 2006 with the unveiling of new signs at the airport. Critics noted the considerable expense involved in renaming the airport, and the decision to use a politician as the name would be obscure, confusing and in some instances, offensive. Corn Mulder of the Freedom Front Plus has stamped the renaming, "...nothing less than political opportunism and attempts by the ANC government to dodge the true socio-economic issues of the country." Unnecessary confusion can be caused, for O.R. Tombo is also a district municipality in the Eastern Cape, seated in Mthatha. The town of Mthatha has an international airport known as Mthatha Airport, formerly named the K.D. Matanzima Airport after former Transcape President Kaiser Matanzima. On 26 November 2006, the airport became the first in Africa to host the Airbus A380. The aircraft landed in Johannesburg on its way to Sydney via the South Pole on a test flight. There was no provision for rapid train access until 2010, when the Gatrain project would allow train passengers to reach the airport from the Johannesburg CBD, Santon and Pretoria. <laughs> <laughs> airport information OR Tombo International Airport is a hot and high airport. Situated almost 1,700 meters 5, feet above mean sea level, the air is thin. This means some aircraft must reduce weight by loading less fuel than they would otherwise. The thinner air is also the reason for the longer than usual runways. On some routes such as to North America, it means flights from Johannesburg need to refuel en route while the return flight originating from a lower altitude airport can upload enough fuel to reach Johannesburg non-stop. OR Tombo International Airport is one of only three airports in the Africa Middle East region as well as the only one properly located in Africa that has non-stop flights to all six inhabited continents, the other two being Dubai International Airport and Doha International Airport. On 10 January 2013 the airport's ICAO code was changed from FAJS to FAOR. South African Airways Museum 
OR Tombo International Airport used to serve as grounds for the South African Airways Museum. This room full of South African Airways memorabilia was started by two fans of the airline as a temporary location until they could set it up in one of Jan Smuts International's buildings in 1987. The museum has since relocated to Rand Airport FAGM. Topic: Aircraft viewing decks. The airport has two viewing decks. One is located above the central terminal building, and the other in an administrative section of the airport above the international check-in counters. There are regular displays of Oliver Reginald Tombo, the airport's namesake in the viewing decks. <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure Topic. Runways OR Tombo International Airport has two runways one pair of parallel runways adjacent to the airport's terminal buildings. There used to be a third runway, 09, 27, but was closed due to the danger it posed. It is now Taxiway Juliet. Furthermore all runways are equipped with approach lighting systems. Sequenced flashers are not used at any South African runways and therefore not installed. Touchdown zone TDZ lighting is available, but never turned on. Runway threshold, edge and centerline lights are the only lighting available. During busy periods, outbound flights use the western runway 03L, 21R for takeoff, while inbound flights use the eastern runway 03R, 21L for landing. Wind factors may cause numerous variations, but on most days flights will take off to the north and land from the south. Topic. Taxiways and aprons OR Tombo International Airport has a network of asphalt taxiways connecting runways, aprons and maintenance facilities. All of these taxiways are 30.5 meters wide, except for Taxiway Echo which is 60 meters wide. The airport also has nine aprons. Cargo aircraft park at Aprons Golf and Whiskey. Many airlines have their aircraft wait long hours between arriving and departing flights. Such aircraft and other cargo aircraft are parked at Aprons Delta and Foxtrot to free up jetbridges. Aprons Alpha, Charlie and Echo have jetbridges that connect them to their respective gates. The Bravo apron is not connected to the terminal building, and thus aircraft that land there must use an airport bus service. Developments ACSA reported that major new developments took place at the airport, in preparation for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. The development includes expansion of the International Terminal, with the new International Pier opened in 2009, which includes gates for the Airbus A380 and increased capacity at the same time. A new central terminal building, designed by Osmond Lang Architects and Planners, was completed on April 1, 2009. An additional multi-story parkade was built in January 2010, at a cost of R470 million opposite the central terminal building, plus Terminal A was also upgraded and the associated roadways realigned to accommodate more international departure space. The Central Terminal Building CTB cost, R2 billion boosted passenger capacity at the land side of the terminal in three levels, and allows direct access from international and domestic terminals. Additional luggage carousels were added on March 12, 2010 to accommodate the Airbus A380. Arrivals are accommodated on Level 1, with departures expanded on Level 3. Level 2 accommodates further retail and commercial activities. The Gatrain Rapid Rail Link Station is above the terminal. The new International Pier cost, R535 million, has increased international arrivals and departures capacity in a two-story structure with nine additional airside contact stands, four of which are Airbus A380 compatible. Air bridges are already in place and the existing duty-free mall will be extended into this area. Additional lounges and passenger holding areas will be constructed on the upper level. A second terminal between the two runways has been cancelled. It would have contained its own domestic and international check-in facilities, contact stands, shops and lounges and was projected to cost R8 billion. Topic. 
Topic: Terminals. There are six terminals at the airport, but these can be broken down into three major areas, the international terminals, the domestic terminals, and the transit terminals. The transit terminal housed disused parts of the old domestic terminals. It has been mostly demolished to build a new central terminal that will provide an indoor link between domestic and international terminals, as well as a central passenger check-in area and more gates. It was constructed for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Terminals A1 and A2 handle international passengers while the other two terminals handle domestic passengers. Due to the airport's design, departure and arrivals terminals are considered separate terminals. The central terminal that is under construction will be named Terminal A3 and it will be used for both international and domestic passengers. The airline Mango has its head office on the mezzanine level of the domestic departure terminal. The two terminals, Terminal A and Terminal B, have been restructured. Several airlines now use Terminal B for all check-ins top floor, adjacent to the arrivals atrium, for both national and international flights. The airlines that moved check-in to Terminal B include SA, SA Airlink, SA Express, Air Mauritius, and Qantas. Terminals A and B boast over 140 retail stores. The duty-free stores are based airside in Terminal A and many of them stock products exclusively available at the airport. The ample parking available at OR Tombo International Airport has recently been revamped and the introduction of state-of-the-art technology now allows visitors to identify available parking spaces easily. Airlines and destinations Passenger Notes carrot 1, this flight continues to Cape Town. However, this carrier does not have rights to transport passengers solely between Johannesburg and Cape Town. Squared, this flight continues to Durban. However, this carrier does not have rights to transport passengers solely between Johannesburg and Durban. Cubed, this flight operates via Windhoek. However, this carrier does not have rights to transport passengers solely between Windhoek and St. Helena. Carrot 4, this flight operates via St. Helena. Carrot 5, this flight operates via Accra. Carrot 6, this flight operates via Dakar. Topic. Cargo Topic. Traffic and statistics OR Tombo International Airport recorded 18.6 million passengers in 2010-2011, up from 17.6 million passengers the year before. Of those passengers, 8 million were international and 9.7 million domestic, with the remainder being classified as regional or unscheduled. 212,918 aircraft traffic movements were recorded, the majority being domestic services. OR Tombo International Airport is the busiest airport in South Africa. Topic: <laughs> Passenger traffic. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft movements. Topic: <laughs> Other buildings. South African Airways is headquartered in Airways Park on the grounds of OR Tombo International Airport. The building was developed by Stotch Vorster Architects. Airways Park was completed in March 1997 for R70 million, $17.5 million. The fourth floor of the west wing of the peer development of OR Tombo has the head office of SA Express. Topic Ground transport Topic Rail transit A transit terminal has been built between the domestic and international terminals. It houses the Gatrain station linking the airport to Santon, a major business district and a primary tourist area, and, from there, the rest of the Gatrain system. 
In September 2006 Gauteng Province contracted Bombardier Transportation for a rail link connecting Johannesburg, Pretoria, and the airport, with construction to begin immediately. The section linking the airport to Sandton in Johannesburg was completed on 8 June 2010 in time for the World Cup. Trains run 90 trips per day and carry an estimated 8,000 passengers daily. Car The airport is easily accessible by car and it is located in northeast Johannesburg on the R24 Airport Freeway, which can be accessed by the R24 South Africa and the R21 Highway. The R24 intersects with the R21 near the airport and with the OR Tombo Airport Highway. This highway goes through the airport terminals, separating them from the parking bays, but it branches off into two directions departures and arrivals and then it rebranches into the intersection topic <inaudible> bus five bus city lines operated by metrobus and putco pass through the airport twice a day the buses are accessible in the morning and the evening when there are many passengers departing and arriving there are also private bus lines operating express buses to the CBD of Johannesburg, as well as other locations. <laughs> Accidents and incidents The 20th of October 1957 A Vickers Viscount GAOYF, operated by Vickers on a test flight, was damaged beyond economic repair when the starboard undercarriage collapsed following a heavy landing. The 1st of March 1988 A Comair Embraer EMB 110 Bandarante ZSL GP exploded in mid-air whilst on final approach. All 17 occupants were killed. A passenger was suspected of detonating an explosive device but to this day it has never been proven. The 22nd of April 1999 a Boeing 727 was damaged beyond repair by large hailstones while on approach for landing. The aircraft landed safely with no loss of life. 3 November 2001 A Ron Cessna F-406 crashed shortly after takeoff from runway 03R, killing all three occupants. The aircraft did not have a valid certificate of airworthiness at the time of the incident. The 9th of April 2004 an Emirates Airbus A340-300 A6 Earn operating flight EK764 from Johannesburg to Dubai sustained serious damage during takeoff when it failed to become airborne before the end of the runway, striking 25 approach lights, causing four tires to burst which in turn threw debris into various parts of the aircraft, ultimately damaging the flap drive mechanism. This rendered the flaps immovable in the takeoff position. The aircraft returned for an emergency landing during which the normal braking system failed as a result of the damage. The aircraft was brought to a stop only 250 meters from the end of the 3,400 meter runway using reverse thrust and the alternate braking system. In their report, South African investigators found that the captain had used an erroneous takeoff technique and criticized Emirates' training and rostering practices. 25 March 2006 A gunman held up guards at the airport gates. Others armed with AK-47 assault rifles held up guards and police at a South African Airways aircraft and helped themselves to bags of pound sterling banknotes flown in from Britain. Several airport security staff were implicated in the heist. The 22nd of December 2013 A British Airways Boeing 747-400 GBNLL operating flight BA-33 collided with a building at the airport. Four ground handling staff in the building sustained minor injuries. The airplane was written off and scrapped by April of 2015. The 26th of October 2015 A British Airways operated by Comair Boeing 737-400 ZS OA operating flight BA6234 from Port Elizabeth suffered a gear collapse while landing at the airport. There were no injuries. The 7th of March 2017 A heist, remarkably similar to the heist in 2006, was carried out by a gang of up to 13 robbers who stole a huge sum of used foreign currency notes collected from South Africa's banks and foreign exchange services. The money was to be transported to London by South African Airways. See also 
List of airports in South Africa List of South African airports by passenger movements <laughs>